I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to talk about the annual percentage yield and how to calculate it using your calculator. The formula for annual percentage yield is y equals parenthesis 1 plus r over n close parenthesis to the n power minus 1. You can think of the annual percentage yield as the amount of money each dollar invested in compounding interest would earn each year. For example, if you invested a dollar and at the end of the year you had a dollar and six cents in the account, then your annual percentage yield would be that six cents or six percent of the original amount. Let's find the annual percentage yield for 4.3% interest compounded daily. So we're going to plug into our formula and we need to know that the interest rate R that we plug in is going to be written in decimal form 0.043, moving the decimal place two spaces to the left. Our compounding period is daily, meaning that we're going to compound the interest 365 times in that year. So n is equal to 365 compounding periods. Plugging in, we have y equals parenthesis 1 plus 0.043 divided by 365 raised to the 365th power and then subtracting 1. Let's get out our calculator. Order of operations is very important and we need to make sure that the calculator understands what we want to do first. I have a scientific calculator and I'm going to take advantage of the parentheses on the calculator. So I'm going to put in parentheses but Inside the parentheses, division comes first. So I'm going to type in 0.043 divided by 365, and I'm going to add to that 1. Now you'll notice that the calculator, as soon as I hit add, is going to complete that division. So that's good, because we want that done first. Plus 1, and then we need to close our parentheses before we raise it to the 365th power. That way, the calculator knows we're raising that entire solution to the 365th power. x to the y, 365. Now, you could hit equals here, but you'll notice if I hit the subtraction, it's going to go ahead and calculate that 365th power, which is what we want. Subtracting 1, then, I can hit equals, and we have this very long decimal, 0 0.043935. Now, let's say that we were asked in our problem to calculate to the nearest 0.01% interest. Well, here we have to move the decimal place two places to the right to see what the interest rate is, 4.393525, etc. If we wanted to the 0.01%, we would have to write 4.39%. That would be the nearest 0.01% because if we took it out one more percentage place, it would be a 3 in the next digit, which doesn't round up. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to like it. You can also follow me both on YouTube and on Facebook. If you have any questions, remember to leave them in the comment section below.